A MakerBot is raw potential energy. It literally takes your ideas and makes them physical. You can't get more raw potential energy than a machine that makes you anything you want. It used to be that in order to manufacture things, you had to involve a factory. Well, now the factory is in your home. Everybody has an application for a 3D printer. Everything from practical things to all sorts of crazy things. Surgeons making models that can do better brain surgery. Brain tumors that surgeons can hold in their hands. The first thing we made was a shot glass to celebrate the fact that we could make something. You have your idea, you can either create it with a 3D modeling program, or you can go search on Thingiverse and see if somebody else has made it. The MakerBot Replicator 2 Desktop 3D Printer uses a material called PLA. PLA is a renewable bioplastic, and it's made from corn, and it even smells good while you make things layer by layer and builds up your model. It's an additive process, so it draws a picture in plastic, lifts up a little bit, draws another picture, and when it's done, you can sand it, you can finish it, you can drill into it, you can do all sorts of things with it. So when we started, it was just three of us, and we did everything. We designed everything, we packed all the boxes, we put all the shipping labels on them, chucked them into the back of the mail trucks. Now we're a little more than 150 people. MakerBots are made with Brooklyn pride, right here on 3rd Avenue. We are ultra proud to be here in Brooklyn. You know, when you're making something as complicated and accurate as a MakerBot, it has to be made with skilled labor, with people who care about what they're doing. We get the greatest talent in the world because it's all right here in Brooklyn. And we put these things in people's hands and every time we ship a box, it's like shipping out another possibility into the world, another solution to a problem, another way of making the world a better place.